Hi everyone. Welcome to my keto kitchen tonight. I hope everyone had a really awesome unicorn Monday today. So tonight I'm going to be talking about making uh, a cheddar broccoli soup and I'm super excited. It's really easy and as those of you that know me, I'm not the best in the kitchen. So if this is something simple enough that I can do, anybody can do it. Um, let me go ahead and share some of the macros with you. And as people are jumping on, make sure you go ahead and say hi and let me know where you're coming from. Uh, if you're watching this live, go ahead and leave me a number one and if you're watching this on the replay go ahead and leave me a number two so that way I can come back around and say hi to you so once again this is a keto broccoli cheddar soup um, it's super delicious super easy to make and it's got um, I'm just trying to find the macros for you real quick you guys it's got 24 grams of fat in here which is really awesome when you are trying to get your healthy fats in for your keto journey so 24 grams of fat 12 grams of protein and only um, let's see here, carbs, only two grams of net carbs. So that is a, a really, really great set of macros for you on your keto journey. Hey, Hassan. Hey, Jim. Hey, Matt. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the love on the purple hair, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm trying a different camera angle tonight. So hopefully you guys will be able to see the cooking as I kind of get started. So let me see if I can move this here, you guys. How is everybody doing today? Make sure you say hi and let me know where you're from. By the way, if you are brand new to keto, go ahead and comment new. That way I can uh, chat with you about it. And if you're seasoned, go ahead and let me know how long you've been on the keto journey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my pot started here. First step is you wanna saute some um, garlic and onion here. Oh, you're so lucky it's hot in California, Jim, because it's freezing cold in New York. So I've got um, two tablespoons of butter that I'm just going to throw in here. I'm using the Kerrygold um, grass-fed butter, which is really, really good for you. Let me just get a... I did wash my hands before I started, by the way, you guys. So this is the butter that I'm using, Kerrygold. It's one of the best ones, and it's a really great way for you to get your your healthy fats in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this melt and let this heat up here. And then I'm gonna be putting in about an eighth of a, an eighth of a cup of a white onion and a half a teaspoon of garlic. And we're just gonna kind of go ahead and let that become soft and translucent. So I already chopped up my onion, it's ready to go. And uh, I'll add the garlic in here in just a minute. So how's everybody's day doing today? Mondays are always tough, right? Getting back into the groove of things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my onion. I'm starting to bubble a little bit here. I'm gonna put on um, a half a teaspoon of garlic. So of course, if you use fresh garlic, it will be the best choice for you. But I just have the, the kind that's already pre-minced. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in here. So I don't know if you can see here, I am just um, letting this cook up a little bit. I'm not gonna let my onions get too caramelized because unfortunately on keto, you have to worry about your blood sugar spiking, right? So if they become too caramelized, they can actually break your ketosis, so you have to be a little bit careful with that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jim. There's a lot of really easy keto recipes that you can do though. There's a lot of non-cooking uh, non and non-bake ones as well. Yeah, Matt loves this recipe. It's really good and it's really easy to do. You guys will see. So I'll try not to cry because the onions are totally hitting me really hard right now. <laughs> so remember, as you guys are jumping on, if you're brand new to keto, go ahead and, and, and type new below. And then if you are seasoned with your keto journey, go ahead and let me know how many months you've been on keto. I've been on keto since October. Um, I'm down 15 pounds now. I'm only five pounds away from my goal weight, which is really exciting. And I just bought some size eight jeans, so I'm super excited. I'm really loving this way of life. And um, 
I just, I love the energy and just how great I feel. There are just so many great benefits to the keto lifestyle. So if you're doing keto right now, go ahead and feel free and share with me what some of your favorite, your favorite benefits are of doing this lifestyle. All right, so I'm going to get ready and see what the next step is here, you guys. So... Next step, it says to add broth and broccoli to the pot. So we need um, two cups of chicken broth. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that ready here. I've got uh, a measuring cup. And I've got some chicken stock here. I had to, let me just turn this down a little bit. I had to be very careful when buying the chicken broth. Make sure you guys are really looking at your labels because there were a few of them that actually had... Um, like, I'm trying to remember what it was, if it was cornstarch or something like that. So you don't want any flour and cornstarch and additives and things like that because it will break your ketosis. So I'm just measuring two cups here. So I got this one here. It seems like a really good chicken broth. Um, I didn't see anything being added to it at all. It's just chicken stock with natural flavors and a little bit of seasoning, so. So I'm just letting these onions and uh, garlic reduce just a little bit more here. Wow, Mary says she lost the swelling in her feet. That's amazing, congratulations. So this is kind of what we're looking like. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Yes, and Jim, duh, um, doing the keto journey is so good for somebody that struggles with diabetes as well as so many other different ailments. So it is very good for the body. And it's so hard, you know. I dieted for so long, counting calories and, and busting my butt in the gym, for those of you that know my story. And, um, you know, almost practically starving myself. I was only having 1,400 calories a day because that's what I thought I needed. Um, but switching over and starting to understand that having good healthy fats in your, in your diet and in your system so that way you can actually burn fat and use fat as a fuel is absolutely amazing. So if you wanna burn some fat, go ahead and leave me some fire emojis below. I can definitely reach out to you and share some tips and tricks with you. And I do have, speaking of tricks, I do have some tricks that I use to help stay in ketosis. So if you're interested in learning about some tricks, go ahead and comment trick and I'll come back through and send you a private message. Okay, so these are pretty reduced here. Let me show you real quick. So they're pretty reduced. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken stock now. So it's two cups of chicken broth. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of get some of the Got a few of the onions stuck to the side here, so I'm just kind of getting them down. All right. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. So, all right, let's see here. So we're gonna add the broth and our broccoli to the pot, and it says to cook the broccoli until it's tender. Add any salt and pepper and desired seasonings. So I just had some frozen broccoli, you guys, that I heated up in the microwave and I got it pretty tender already. I'm just gonna drain, the, there's a little bit of water in here, I'm just gonna get the water out and then I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in and then cut some of these up so they're a little bit smaller. Actually, maybe I'll cut them before I put them in, so let me go ahead and do that now. So what, if everyone is, anyone on uh, that's watching right now, if you want to go ahead and share what your ke favorite keto recipe is while we're kind of waiting, I would love to hear that. I'm going to totally eat, uh, for those of you, if you watch, I did a, uh, a cheddar garlic biscuit tutorial, I think on Friday last week. It tastes just like... Um, a biscuit that you would get at Red Lobster. It's really, really yummy, and it's really good. It's totally keto-friendly. So I'm actually gonna uh, toast one of those biscuits and have it with my soup tonight. So it's gonna be really awesome. So I'm just cutting up these broccoli florets a little bit. I couldn't cut them before because they were frozen. So just so they're a little bit easier to eat. Okay and just putting them in the pot now.
Okay, so we're gonna add some salt and pepper now. When you're on the keto journey, it's really important that you uh, have a lot of, you have electrolytes in your system. So one of the great ways to do that is to add Himalayan, cracked Himalayan salt to everything that you eat and drink. So I'm gonna make sure I get some good salt in here. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Just put a little bit in. And then with the pepper as well. It's looking pretty good. Let me uh, try moving this so you guys can see. Are you able to see? What do you think? Does it look good so far? <laughs> We're still in the beginning stages here. So next step is, yeah, the salt and pepper sh shakers are dope. I think we got them on QVC, you guys. <laughs> so they're really nice. They're electronic. <laughs> All right. So next step we've got here is... um. We're supposed to put the cream cheese in the microwave and heat for about 30 seconds until soft and easily stirable, stirable. So let me go ahead and do that. It calls for, let's see how much, a tablespoon of cream cheese. So I did a full ounce. Technically it should be around a half an ounce, but I wasn't measuring to exactly. So Go ahead and get a uh, plate here. Here's my cream cheese. So this is a full ounce. So let me go ahead and melt it in the microwave real quick. <laughs> You'll have to let me know if you find the, uh, the salt and pepper shakers, Carrie. <laughs> So once the um, cream cheese is melted, we're also going to add the heavy whipping cream and stir it into the soup and bring it to a boil. So let me check this. All right, looks like it's getting hot. Okay, so we're nice and melty, you guys. There's the cream cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and measure the whipping cream right now and add it to uh, our cream cheese. And then from there, we're gonna put it in the soup. So for the heavy whipping cream, we need a quarter of a cup. All right, sorry you guys, I'm just measuring it. Okay. There's our quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna add it to the cream cheese and stir it around a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to our pot here. So there's a little, some little pieces of the cream cheese. I'll show you in just a minute here, but it's not terrible and they will melt as this boils. Um, last time I made this, I really didn't have to worry about clumps at all. So I wouldn't stress it too much if you put it in, you see little lumps. They're already melting. So let me just see if I can show you guys. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let me try and move in the camera here. So it's doing good. You can see Bean in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's waiting for me to drop something. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the next step is. All 
So we're almost done here. We're just supposed to bring this to a boil. And once it boils, we're gonna add in the cheddar cheese and then turn off the heat and we'll let it kind of um, combine. And then if it's too watery, we'll add a little bit of xanthan gum to help thicken it up. So I'm just waiting for this bad boy to boil. It's kind of got a fast simmer right now, so it's not gonna take too long. And I've already got my cheddar prepped and ready to go. So we'll dump it in as soon as, as, soon as it's got a nice full boil. So Lisa, I will, once I get done here, I will post the recipe right in the comments. That way you guys can find it very easily. I got this recipe off of Pinterest. Um, it's by, I think this is by the Keto Mama. It's called Hey Keto Mama. She does a lot of really great um, keto recipes. So you can always search for her and find it. It's very easy to find. So we're almost boiling here. So by the way, while we're waiting, uh, these are what my garlic cheddar biscuits look like that I made the other day. They're super delicious, um, and they get nice and crispy when you toast them. So I'm going to go ahead and toast one of these up to have it with my soup. So if you're looking for a really great biscuit recipe, definitely check out my previous live video on Friday. Um, I've had a lot of people that tried it over the weekend and loved it and said it was really delicious. So thanks for the great feedback. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so we pretty much have got a boil here. Maybe I can get it to go a little bit higher. I'll show you guys. So you can see we're boiling pretty good. It doesn't show so much once I tip the... Uh, the camera here it kind of stops boiling okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cheddar and then it says to turn the heat off so let me go ahead and do that turn off heat and quickly stir in the cheddar cheese and then it just says to add the xanthan gum to thicken if needed now last time I remember I actually had to turn the heat back on a little bit to um, to kind of help it reduce a little bit more. That was my experience last time, so I don't know if it's gonna be the same this time or not. So let me, I'm actually gonna pick up the camera and turn it around so you guys can see it. So. So the cheddar is melting nicely, but it seems a little bit, a little bit runny. So I may have to reduce a little bit more and add some xanthan gum. So that's what I'm going to do now. So what do you guys think? Does it look pretty good? All right. So it suggests a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. So that's what I've got in this container here. And once again, for those of you that are just jumping on, the xanthan gum is just something you can use to, um, to help thicken. In lieu of like cornstarch or flour, you wouldn't want to use any of those because they're definitely not keto. So, let me see here. I know I had measuring spoons, hold on. All right, let me just rinse off my measuring spoon real quick. watching you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying. Okay, here we go. So I'm just putting a half a teaspoon in. We'll see how it does. Last time I had to add more than one. So, you know, maybe in the future, if you guys try this, maybe try using a little bit less um, chicken broth. Um, but I didn't mind. Last time I just, I let it simmer for a little bit longer and I just added some xanthan gum and it came up in such a nice creamy thick consistency. I really didn't have any issue with it and it tasted delicious. So I don't mind kind of waiting a few extra moments here to see um, if we can get the right consistency. 
So what kinds of snacks and goodies did everyone have uh, during the Super Bowl? Did anyone make any really fun keto recipes? So that definitely helped to wear a little bit thicker here. I think I'm probably gonna need one more. Let me go ahead and switch the camera around so you guys can see what it looks like. So here we go. So you can see it's a lot thicker, but it's still, still a little thin for my liking. I like it to be really thick. So which is nice because you, you could really make this however suits your taste the most. So let me try one more teaspoon, or this is a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Island Park, Idaho. Is that where you're from, Sonoma? Welcome. Oh, it's so hot over this uh, pot here. I can really feel it. <laughs> awesome. So this is looking really good now. And if you turn off the heat for a little bit, it will actually thicken up and it will become the most beautiful, thick cheddar broccoli, really gorgeous soup. So I will go ahead and turn this off and show you guys what it looks like. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around. And let me see how many servings this is supposed to make. Four total servings, uh, three, three quarters cup each, by the way. All right, let me show you what this looks like, you guys. It looks really good. So, you can see it looks nice and thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and just allow that to thicken up a little bit and it's gonna be absolutely perfect, so. I will uh, take a picture of a bowl once I have it ready to go. It's a little too hot to take a sip yet, but I will make sure I do that with you guys and definitely try this one. You can see it wasn't that hard, right? Our ingredients were just a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. We had some butter, some cream cheese, some heavy whipping cream, and cheddar and broccoli, of course. So very easy to do, not a very expensive recipe at all. Hi, Leticia, thanks for joining. So for those of you that are just jumping on now, I'm actually just finishing up, but we just finished the cheddar broccoli soup. Oh, let me do it the other way, sorry. So here is the final product. Came out really, really good. So can't wait. And then I'm gonna be having one of my uh, famous garlic cheddar biscuits to go along with it. So awesome. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I really hope you enjoyed checking out this recipe. If you found value in this, make sure you go ahead and share this video and subscribe so that way you get alerts for my future videos. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have a great night tonight.